channel and welcome to the first video of 2015. So starting out I'm taking a pink lip liner from Essence and what I'm doing here is I'm just looking at a reference photo of Cordelia when she first had the acid thrown into her face and I'm just going to be lightly mapping that out with a pencil. Next I'm going in with a gelatin mix. If you guys aren't aware of what that is or you've never heard of it, it is pretty much just one tablespoon of a powdered gelatin one tablespoon of water and then one teaspoon of glycerin or glycerol. I will be making a more in-depth video next week so if you guys are willing to wait for that or I'll just put the whole descriptions in my description box below on how I made this exactly. So you pretty much just need to pop all of those liquids in the microwave for about five to eight seconds and then you get this gooey mixture as you guys can see here. So what I'm doing is I'm applying a very large amount of that onto my cheekbones and I'm really trying to build up that area like Cordelia's cheekbones are. This gelatin product is great to work with but it does set quite quickly so as you guys can see with the two small patches I've already put on my face they have set almost so what I'm doing here is I'm just texturing them up making little rips and little holes and any type of texture that's going to make it look like burnt skin I've then had to put my cup back into the microwave for another three or four seconds just to pretty much um, get that liquid flowing again because it does set quite quickly in the cup which is really bizarre it takes about 30 seconds to a minute so you want to work in small batches and what I'm doing here is I'm just repeating the same step I'm just slowly building up that area in the burnt area that we are trying to create and then I'm just pulling that and put, picking at it making little holes and trying to make it to the texture that I feel is necessary I also just wanted to let you guys know, it's a little bit of an obvious, but of course I don't want you guys burning yourself. So this liquid does get very hot, even though it is only in the microwave for 5 to 8 seconds, it heats up insanely hot. And then it cools down and sets itself. As you guys can see here, I'm just lightly applying that carefully around my eyelid area and it's starting to get really stringy. When it starts to get really stringy and really hard to work with, then you know it's pretty much starting to set and you have to work a little bit faster or you have to just walk all the way over to the microwave and pop it in. So this is the completed gelatin mask that I have unpainted and unpowdered. It is quite sticky so as I said I'm just going to go in with a neutral powder. This is just the Ben Nye Neutral Set. It's not necessary because we are going to make this look shiny and glossy later on but I'm not a fan of working on a greasy base with grease paints. So if you don't have a neutral set you can also use any type of a baby powder or a translucent powder that you have. I'm then going in with a foundation that is almost the exact same shade as my actual skin tone and this has got to be the number one biggest problem that I see with a lot of people when they start out in special effects is they always have the wrong color foundation that's always too orange or it's always too dark and that really doesn't help when you're trying to blend out some tissue paper and latex and to make it look like your actual skin. So I do recommend going with a concealer or a really lighter foundation that's a little bit lighter than your actual skin color because when you apply it onto the latex or the prosthetic that you're making it will just go a little bit darker anyways. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking that um, foundation on a beauty blender and I'm really just buffing that and pushing that in as hard as I can to all of the little crevices and holes and everything that I've created in the burnt skin. So this is what I've got at the moment without any product on top and I just thought it would be nice to brush through my brows since they've been through a lot so far. <laughs> Next I'm taking my Ben Nye Stackable Grease Paints and I'm taking the colour in Burnt Coral. This is the perfect skin irritation colour for my skin tone. It will obviously depend if you're a lot more pale than me or a lot more darker than me to what type of skin irritation colour will suit you best. Generally I've never really tested it out but this colour might work well on every skin tone, I'm not too sure. So any skin irritation colour that suits you the best and you're happy with, you want to go in and apply that all around the cheekbone area first of all. I'm just testing this out to see how well it blends out. So I'm taking a large fluffy brush with no product and I'm just going to start buffing away at that product just to make sure it's nice and irritated and it's not too intense as well. I never test out any of my tutorials before I film them, these are all first time experiences so you guys are kind of learning with me and if you didn't watch my Q&A you just learned something new. So the reference photo that I am going off here um, for Cordelia's acid burn is this photo of Cordelia when she was in the hospital and she first opened her eyes. So whenever you're working with grease paints again you do need to just take your time and go slowly with it and the products are quite buildable so you don't want to go in too harsh with a dark colour. I say this in a lot of my videos because I do truly mean it. You can easily ruin a look just by applying too much of a dark colour. So you just want to slowly build it up and slowly go off the reference photo or off my tutorial and I suppose I'll just let you guys watch and enjoy this for a little bit because it's all just adding and blending for now anyways.
So again, I'm just going to repeat that same step. I'm going in with a more deeper maroon color and then I'm just going to be lightly applying this. As I said, you never want to put too much product. And I'm just going to be lightly dabbing that in the areas that Cordelia has the darker areas and the darker shading of the burn, which is where it's kind of gone really intense or it might be scabbing up a little. So I'm just going to go in with that and then I'm going to see how well it blends out. And then I'm just going to continue adding and blending until I'm happy with the color payoff that I get. For the last red colour, I'm going in with this bright cherry red and what I'm doing is just going in again and highlighting certain areas. It's really great to have different tones of reds and purples to give it that really bruised, really sore and burnt, irritated effect. So she does have a lot of this bright red colour mainly focused around her eye area, almost as an eyeliner pretty much. So I'm just going to be packing that on the top of my eyelids and then I'm going to be blending that out. And this is going to be the colour that really stimulates that really painful really really sore area um so it is definitely just focused mainly around the eyes and the brows So if I could take anything back in this tutorial, I would not apply the white cream paint. In my mind, I thought it was going to work really well as a highlight and it's really going to bring out those high points in the burn and it's really going to make it look like the other parts of the face are really drawn back from the light. But when I started to blend it out, it gave it this really fake colour and then on camera it turned the whole thing into a pink washed out shade. So I would not recommend doing this at all. Just leave it with the skin tone that we had and it looked so much better before I did this. So I tried to recover my myself by taking a brown eyeshadow and filling in my brows just to make my brows a little bit darker but as you guys can see it's just totally washed out so if you were looking at the footage before I applied the white I would say that just leave it there and maybe fill in your brows and it would be a perfect way to end the tutorial but sadly um, sometimes you know you test things and they don't work out the way you want them but after I filled in my brows that's pretty much it I just decided to powder up the prosthetic just a little bit because I could not figure out for the life of me how to get the skin tone back into it that I took out with the white So I've just popped in my white out contacts and then I remembered that I wanted to pop some glycerol or glycerin on top of my burn. So when burns start to sweat and weep a little bit, they get this nice glossy moisture on top of them. So it is such a struggle to see with these contacts, but I decided to leave them in anyways. And I'm just lightly patting that all over the top of the burn to make it look nice and weeping and really sore. Then I cleaned off my hands and just double checked that everything was still in place when I left it. And that's pretty much it guys. That is the end of the tutorial. channel so in this video today I obviously did Cordelia from American Horror Story season 3 where she has acid thrown on her face um, this is kind of like the fresh just happened acid burn so throughout the series you do get to see her acid burn start to heal as well so I was thinking of maybe doing a more dull healed version of this as well um, because both of them are interesting and both of them are fun to do. I'd just like to say a massive thank you for all the love and support I have been receiving and I really do appreciate you guys so much. I can't wait to keep filming videos for you guys. Now that I have my setup and everything ready and I've settled into my new home, I should be uploading again once a week or more if I have time. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video once again and thank you all so much for watching. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials, you can leave them in the comments below because I'm doing my American Horror Story series. I still have a Batman series I'm halfway through and then I will be doing normal videos as well so it's totally up to you guys what you want to see just comment it down below and I'll try to get to it as best as I can and I thank you all so much for watching have a lovely day or night wherever it is you are bye guys Even though I still do have a full-time job, I would really love to focus more on my YouTube because I am also going to be studying at makeup school next year.